Instagram. So we are talking before about, uh, in a previous video, which you hopefully have consumed by now, about how you know, Snapchat um, you know, didn't take the, the bite off from Facebook, and the next thing you know, Stories comes out and, and live. And, and weirdly enough, which is kind of funny, they basically stole everything from Snapchat to do it <laughs> themselves in Instagram with Stories. Yeah. The adoption hasn't been as high there. I still think there's two different places for it, right. but it's quite interesting how I, I kind of feel that Snapchat started with full exclusivity, no one see anything, yeah. and Facebook started let everyone see everything all the time. Weirdly enough, now with Instagram having kind of both, it sort of sits in this middle where yeah. Yeah, you, everyone can see this, but then you know the stories on that or custom messaging or private things and obviously disappearing messages. Yeah, I kind of I think Instagram. I think Instagram is probably taking the biggest chunk of maybe I don't know if it's Twitter, but I'm, I'm intrigued. I, I like where Instagram's going but I don't think it's I don't know I kind of feel like you can consume so much of stuff elsewhere as well yeah well Instagram it, well, the, the advantage that Instagram has is that it's it, it, the data that it gets from the mothership yeah. you know so they're owned by Facebook they have um, they have full access to, to all those targeting criteria that Facebook has so right now you go on you set up an ad you can you can choose where you sh where you sh where you show that ad and Instagram is is one of those options so uh, so Instagram has a huge 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 plus over any other platform because they have all that data from Facebook and one thing I probably would say on Instagram is it's interesting we're talking about Facebook with organic reach dying because there's so much content mm. With Instagram, you actually have to may potentially curate that list a little bit more because yeah. it is only one stream of everything. Yeah. So it's kind of like you've got the algorithm that's making it smarter on Facebook to give you what you like, but then on Instagram, you're probably having to cut the weak links a little bit. Yeah. And you know, because it is just that one thing. It's not like, hey, you're going to like this, 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 and pull them together. You still have that single stream mentality. Yeah. And so I. They maybe could end up being a bit of the crown jewel because that's you, you. You will curate exactly what you want yeah. on Instagram, but then Facebook will curate what it thinks you want. And they changed, and Instagram changed its algorithm this year. Which so you had all these social influencers who ha suddenly had were up in arms because they've had to kind of change the yeah. way that they do things. So it just, I think that's a warning to all of us as well that, that you know that those those algorithms, those bloody algorithms, are um, are really important to how we distribute content. And so we're going to have to stay on top of them, make sure that we understand how to do them properly. And the industry battle to watch for in 2017 would be also how the Snapchat versus the stories thing sort of plays yeah. out as well. I don't feel that another thing's going to pop up in the next 12 months at scale in that real time documentation. Yeah. Thing. I, I, don't, I don't see it. So, you know, if anything, it's probably a good competitor for them both to, to raise the bar for all. So that's kind yeah. of where I guess we see Instagram. Instagram. In